A new study finds that intermittent fasting and protein pacing, which I'll define shortly, is superior to calorie restriction in terms of reducing overall body weight and visceral fat. I think this is important to acknowledge because January is around the corner. A lot of you are focused on reducing body fat, specifically belly fat, and you might want to know about some of the studies. So let's dive into the study titled Intermittent Fasting and Protein Pacing are Superior to Calorie Restriction for Weight Loss and Visceral Fat Mass Loss. So this was a nine-week trial investigating the effects of intermittent and fasting paired with protein pacing. You might be saying, well, Mike, what is protein pacing? Well, protein pacing is spreading out protein throughout the day. I think this is really important. I see a lot of people making the mistake of fasting all day and having one big bolus meal called OMAD, and that might work for some people. Some physically active people who also exercise during the day to increase muscle protein synthesis and are doing OMAD might benefit from that. But for most people who don't resistance train very often, I think it's better to spread out their protein throughout the day to help to stimulate muscle protein synthesis and prevent muscle protein breakdown. And again, this is known as protein pacing so that we're stimulating uh, muscle protein synthesis throughout the day and, and helping to optimize body composition. Because what good is weight loss if most of the weight that you're losing is from muscle? That's maladaptive. That leads to suppression of energy expenditure and overall your overall resting metabolic rate and insulin sensitivity and strength throughout lifespan. Not good. Okay. So what was interesting about this study is that the study subjects were randomized to consume the same amount of weekly energy. Okay. So the overall deficit was, I think, 900 calories or something throughout the, the uh, over the course of the week. Uh, and what they found is that w- there were significant changes in body composition in a favorable manner, that is reductions in visceral or belly fat and overall weight loss in the group that did intermittent fasting paired with protein pacing, again, spread protein out throughout the feeding window compared to people just dieting. This is important because many people say in January, I'm going to do this diet. I'm going to cut my calories. I'm going to eat, you know, 600 calories a day, but most of those calories are not coming from protein. That is a problem. So protein pacing paired with fasting is good. So that's the key takeaways here. Let's dive into this. Uh, Any high quality study should look at reductions in total body weight and visceral fat mass loss, as well as lean mass. And so what I think is interesting about this study is implementing a calorie restriction or fasting with protein pacing helps spare the breakdown of lean muscle mass. Between the different groups, there was less muscle mass lost in the people that fasted and protein paced compared to people who just dieted. Really important to recognize because as we have talked about in other videos, there was a recently published study by scientists at Stanford making the claim that going on a vegan diet helps reduce body weight, but we don't know They didn't include after the eight-week study when they randomized people to go on a vegan diet or an omnivorous diet where the body weight loss was coming from. Was it coming from muscle or fat mass? Was it coming from visceral fat or who knows what? So it's important that any intervention that is purportedly helpful for weight loss, we know where the weight is coming from. And that's why I love the studies that actually enumerate this and quantify this and get into the nuances and look at visceral fat mass loss versus lean mass loss, okay? Now, another thing that's important about this study that I think is important for you to recognize is looking at the calorie intake over the course of a week, not just one day. Many of you focus on, well, what are my daily calories, right? You should look at this over the course of the long haul. I think that's better. And so not just focusing on calories for the day, look at this over the course of a week. And so uh, some people may benefit from alternate day fasting. If you don't, you know, maybe you have really busy days at work on Tuesday and Thursday, but Monday, Wednesday, Friday are relatively light. And so those days you could possibly fast. You know, one of the ways that I implement uh, periodic calorie restriction is just fasting one day. And I eat normally the rest of the days with a 16, eight feeding window. And one day I'll just do, you know, no food whatsoever. So that can help over the long haul, get into a calorie deficit can help prevent weight gain. So I think that's important. They also say that intermittent fasting and protein pacing result in greater reductions in all of the outcomes that are important, total fat mass and preservation of lean muscle mass loss uh, compared with calorie restriction despite similar energy intakes and unchanged levels of physical activity or energy expenditure during an eight-week weight loss protocol. So I think that's important because as they say, these findings should emphasize the quality of nutrient intake, focusing and prioritizing protein, minimizing the consumption of processed carbohydrates, particularly sugars. Uh, and they also actually had people eat more fiber. Fiber is pretty controversial 
natural. You know, if you think about it, some people get a lot of gas and bloating when they implement more fiber, but fiber does have a satiating uh, property as well. And so I think it's important that we uh, quantify food, prioritize protein, especially if we're dieting for the purposes of losing body fat. So um, again, I just wanted to share this study with you just to remind all of you that if you're going to go on a diet in January, prioritize protein, spread out the protein throughout your meal window so that you're optimizing the preservation of lean mass and uh, losing body fat as opposed to lean mass. So that's it for today's show. Hopefully you found this short video helpful. If you did hit that like button, leave me a comment below and be sure to share this video with a friend who may benefit from this information. I will link this article in the description below and we'll catch you on a future one down the road.